to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Many times when you are tired, it's proof that what is coming is not powerful. Because when the truth is powerful and is changing you, your desire for more, because you will be, you would have been tired of wasting your time. And you're saying, look, it's worth it. Instead of recycling one year of pain, let me understand what I'm doing now. True riches. Can I give you number two? The second one that buys favor or buys buys money influence growth is called favor write it down the first thing i want to tell you please um whatever i share here just listen to them and 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 build on them and grow and um sometimes my teachings can be controversial but I say it with an open heart and to help you. I'm saying that because of what I want to tell you. Favor is the next of the true riches that I want to teach you. The major reason why we do not get favor in the body of Christ is because we teach that it is unmerited. <laughs> if I ask you, define favor, you say unmerited access. You are right, but you are wrong very wrong now I said you are right because it depends on the context it was taught it is the manifestation of favor that looks effortless there is a science to favor first if it happened only once it is not favor it is breakthrough the proof that it is favor is that it must be repeated regardless the circumstances Exodus chapter 3 verse 21. You will know right now whether or not favor is working in your life. I want you to read it. Exodus 3 21. 1, 2, read please. Uh huh. Emptiness has an explanation. It is proof that favor is not in your life. I will give you favor. Now, I don't have all the time to do detailed teachings on favor. But let me tell you this. Please look. The Bible says, I will give you favor in the sight. That means favor works with the power of sight. Notice, every time the Bible talks about favor, the Bible talks about the eyes. When favor is on you, real favor, the only person who cannot bless you is a blind man. Provided... They can see you. That charm-like manifestation is what the Bible calls favor. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. I'm rushing, forgive me. Esther 2, 15. The last sentence. Esther 2, 15. From the last full stop. Ready to read? One, two, read. And Esther obtained favor in the of all them that looked upon her when the grace for favor is on you i'm passing and i look at you and suddenly the grace works the grace works the moment sight is true please believe me i know what i'm saying that you watch someone and suddenly there is an urge to give to sow and to do it with joy it's it's favor 
in the sight of all them that looked upon her if everybody who looks upon you in a day blesses you will you really be poor if everybody that looks at your business because favor can come on your business as an entity it can come on your ministry so someone is passing and doesn't know why he feels like just coming to sit down that is your deacon another person comes to sit down that is the greatest financier in your ministry favor favor makes men to exhibit magnetic properties it has nothing to do with your nationality it has nothing to do with gender has nothing to do with age these are spiritual realities that buy physical things verse 17 we're about to pray and the king look up please let me show you how real favor worked ready to read please read with me again and the king loved esther above hold on that's favor before esther came he or some other women were in the list but as soon as hadassah showed up he loved esther above all the women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than more than if the king were looking at you and esther passed forget it it's over if they are looking at another business and yours passes it's over it's not about competition and fighting is these are systems of advantage in the kingdom this is the excellency of the supernatural life even the king and then favor always puts a royal crown on your head favor favor i think it's proverbs 13 15 let's check it out if i'm wrong we'll just continue but i think it is proverbs 13 and verse 15. read with me if you're a christian one to read uh-huh leave that scripture there the bible talks about two mothers pregnant with children the first mother is called good understanding and that she can be pregnant and the name of the child she gives birth to is called favor and that transgression a transgressor is not a sinner he's a violator of ordinances and principles you can even be a believer that a transgressor is also like a pregnant woman she can get pregnant and when she gives birth the name of her child is hardship hardship has an explanation That's why I told you favor is merited. Good understanding like you are having now. There are systems when you engage, you will program favor. There are keys. Praise the Lord. Favor is very powerful. Show me the money that entered from your salary and show me the one that came from favor. Can you tell the difference? In the afternoon, when we were done, I was about to enter the car. And then I'm looking at this little girl. And then suddenly, I just love this little girl. And I call her. And I hug her. Why was it not you? It's not because you are an adult. <laughs> not necessarily. Because in this conference, what I'm talking about must come upon you. Must come upon you. A man who looks at you every day and does not bless you. Suddenly after this conference, you're on your way home. And he says, Are you the one looking for a job? You say yes. He says, have I attended to you? The moment that happens, just know you have obtained the capital that buys influence. The capital that buys money. Listen, the proof that favor is on you is not money. The proof that favor is on you is the loyalty of men. When I came in, I appreciate all of you for loving me so much. For many of you have not seen you. But what made you love me that much? This is what I want to come upon you. 
apostle is because of the location of my business no sir no sir no sir no sir he climbed the mountain and a crowd came he went by the riverside and the crowd came please hear me because things will shift in your business things will shift in your life shift in your ministry favor favor parus favor is a real grace listen i took one month of my life to pray for favor i have not done you justice by teaching you all the principles that make for favor but there are but i will just tell you one as we wrap up it's called the esther anointing hmm. esther chapter 2 again please give us verse 15. now please listen to me we're about to pray something must come upon you There is a call because Vashti is thrown from the throne and that call gets to Shushan and they gather young virgins, prospective brides for the king. And here comes this village girl from somewhere in South Africa called Hadassah and she's trying her chance. Mordecai encourages her. Watch this. And then the Bible says, that now when the turn of Esther, the daughter of Abihel, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her for his daughter, was come to go to see the king. Watch this. She required nothing but what Haggai, who was playing the role of the Holy Spirit, the king's chamberlain, the keeper of the women appointed. The Bible says, when you read the preceding verses, it says that, he gave her oil go to 16 oh dear i think it was uh, maybe the 14 or so there was an ointment that she robbed for one year to see the king other women were learning how to walk wonderful learning how to talk wonderful but hey guy said i know the king the spirit no man knows the things of a man except the spirit of that man hey guy said i have walked with the king i know what he wants let me give you a kind of oil that you will keep rubbing for one year when one year is done go to the king thou anointest my head with oil hold on but i know what is on my head by looking at my cup he does not anoint my cup my cup is a report card showing what is on my head thou anointed my head with oil my ministry runneth over thou anointed my head with oil my business runneth over listen to me what is on you is what controls what is around you it is true it is true you can know what has come upon you by looking at the new experiences that are introduced into your space. Favor is powerful. It is the number one reason we succeed in life. You can have all the products and because we didn't have time to deal up on value and other things, hopefully we may touch a bit on it as we wrap up tomorrow. But let me tell you this. I'm looking for what is applicable to everyone. Something you can go out with tonight and say, I came to church without it, but now I am returning with it. That in one week, by Sunday next week, you return back to church on your knees and say, what is this? What is this? Hallelujah. Listen now. Listen. I don't mean to brag, but I can tell you, my life is an unending wonder of what people do for me. People have seen my account number in their dreams and have been instructed to continue to bless me for the rest of my life. I don't know them. 
people have called me and said the Lord instructed us to make you a non-executive board member in our business your spiritual value is all we want just give us your account number I said what is the meaning of this I apologize if it looks like I'm bragging forgive me my table is full of landed properties I've never gone there to even see what is there three years ago three kings came together and God just opened a door and they gave me 18.7 hectares of a gold mine listen please hear me I'm not here to psych you there is a real grace that lifts men your man of God and his wife the apostles and the men of God here are testaments occultists know this they continue to sell and do everything but behind the scenes they know that it is what is on you that controls what is around you listen in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters hear me I came into your city and I am humbled by the gifts and the seeds that people have brought already. It is not normal. And it is not because I am Apostle Joshua Selman. It is a grace on your life. Everybody who blesses you has relatives in need. Whatever makes him forget them and comes to you must be of God. Hear me everybody on earth is a giver there's no such thing as stingy people they just feel you are not worthy to receive their seats they will refuse to give you 10,000 rands for something and yet bring 500,000 rands and tell someone else let it be an honor to give you they are, are they stingy greed is relative to the grace that it responds to because even Egyptians can give to the slaves. There is something that comes upon you. When Pharaoh gives to you, you are really anointed. We have to pray. <sighs> hmm. South Africa. The Lord wants to shift us to new levels. Hear me. When God grants us access to these graces, sometimes as men of God, we mismanage these graces in pride. The goal is that it be distributed to the body. When he sends a word to Jacob, it's because he's looking at Israel. Many of you here are veterans in business. Many of you here are men and women of God, music artists, business people, politicians, and all kinds of great people and like I said in the morning I'm not here tonight to insult your pedigree I know that you have sustained intelligence and I respect your experience but can we in addition to that which we have received trust God tonight even in heaven he said come up here there is still room for more praise the Lord and so I want to pray for you right now we are going to pray I taught you two things your mind and favor that success is not what you pursue is what you attract by who you are becoming and that everything you are looking for is also looking for you the assignment of conferences like this is to accelerate your meeting your house is in South Africa. Your land is looking for you. I'm here to help you find it. The donkey was also looking for Saul. Saul was looking. It was not just Saul that was missing or the donkey. As far as the donkey was concerned, Saul too was missing. Hey. 
Listen. Listen. Your land has been asking, when will you come? Your clients have been asking, when will you come? You think they are the ones who are delaying. They are saying you are also delaying us. Your members are crying, when will you call us? My assignment tonight is to bring you together. Rise up on your feet. Shalatasia takata. Lift your voice and begin to pray. It's a new season, truly. What you are looking for is also looking for you. The level that you seek is also seeking for you. The anointing that you seek is also looking for you. Someone begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. It's a new season. House of Treasures. South Africa. It's a new season. You are about to access influence in the place of exchange. This I know. Western shores and the islands will see your light as it rises on us distant shorts and the islands will see your light as it rises on us distant shorts and the islands will see your light Hallelujah. One more prayer point. You're going to cry to the God of heaven. It's time to shift. Lord, the grace for favor, let it rest upon me here and now. Please lift your voice and pray. the name fade away let every other name fade away till there's only you let every other name fade away let every other name fade away Jesus take your place Jesus, take your place. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Till there's only you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know how we're going to do it. I thought I'll be able to pray for the sick this night. Because it's a final night. I know that our time is gone. I came with a heart to really shift you to a level. Supernatural dimension in the spirit. Come, this fair man, come. Yes. I don't know what you do, but you're about to step into a new dimension. Lift your voice. I release that grace upon you. You, lift your hands. You, this one looking at me, take that grace. Step into a new level in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I want to pray for you now. Bring the lady that shouts now under the anointing loud to the hearing of everyone. Bring her. 
We're rounding up. Halusa siya sa tapos kaya na mga. The grace for favor is resting on you. I want to pray that grace. I don't know who you are, but in the name of Jesus, I shift you into new dimensions. Both of you, step into that level. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. That lady close to this man, lift your hands, my dear. I stretch my hands. I'm seeing oil coming on your head. And in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the Spirit. By the Spirit. New dimension. Now, I'm seeing a grace that is coming on business people. I'm seeing the number 35. I stretch my hands. Where are they? Right now, take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. I'm seeing the number 35. Let it fall on you right now. From the front to the back, the left to the right. Take that grace. I shift your business to a higher dimension in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a man of God. You are a prophet. I may not call you out because of time. But I'm seeing a strong grace coming on you for the prophetic. Lord, where is that person? Let that grace rest upon you now. Let that grace rest now. Rest now. Bring them out. Rest now. Step into new dimensions. Our time is gone. Please bring them out quickly. I pray the grace for speed in the morning. And the Lord is asking me to pray it again. In the name of Jesus, South Africa, house of treasures, I stand by the God of heaven and I prophesy, take the grace for speed. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it. Help them, please. Receive it now. Speed. 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 No delay. A quick walk. Speed. Lift your hands. This man, take that grace in the name of Jesus. I release that grace upon you in the name of Jesus. Speed. Now listen. There is a grace that is coming on the women of South Africa. I want to pray. The grace that was on Deborah and the grace that was on Esther. There is an awakening. Women of power, visions. I'm seeing graces and mantles. Let it fall now. I stretch my hands. Deborah's arise. Esther's arise. I prophesy by the spirit of grace. An awakening of power. In the name of Jesus. Women of excellence. I empower you by the spirit. Rise in power. Do exploits. Rise in power. Do exploits. dimension my friend new level in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a gate in the realm of the spirit closed and the Lord is saying I should open it this is a gate representing the next level of someone's life right now in the name of Jesus I speak by the spirit let that gate be open now let that gate be open now in ministry be open now in business be open now career be open now Every man and woman of God in this place, it's time for our ministries to shift to a level. To shift to a level. I stand by the Spirit and I speak to you. In the name of Jesus, the fire and the grace that comes upon you, let it turn you into a sign and a wonder. 
in the name of Jesus take that grace in the name of Jesus take that grace let it rest upon you I stretch my hands I don't know where the ministers are but I speak to you all over this congregation new dimensions new levels of power spiritual illumination understanding and insight in the name of Jesus everything that has died in your life I speak to you by the Spirit of God Talita Kumi arise 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 Shika Pokatosiata Embreketeka dead businesses arise dead dreams arise Hallelujah Hear me. There are many of you, you would have been in certain dimensions now. It says, I desire to come to you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. I would have been in government by now, but Satan hindered us. My business would have been global by now, but Satan hindered us. In the name of Jesus, everything that has refused to be global I give it wings in the spirit rise beyond the limitation of your local environment rise beyond the limitation of your local environment be global be global be global in the name of Jesus the Bible says where you have been deserted so that no man goes through you I make you an eternal excellency the joy of many generations the grace for favor that opens you up to the ministry of men that opens you up to the loyalty of men in the name of Jesus I stand by the God of heaven and I declare take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now I pray for your loved ones who are not here wherever they are around the globe may the angel of his presence locate them and see to it that this grace rests upon them too hear me all of you who are in the music ministry in the name of jesus i declare songs from the spirit rise to new levels in the spirit those of you who are in government I pray for you may this favor give you a ladder in this nation you will rise to the highest positions in the name of Jesus let me speak over your finances he said by this time tomorrow and another foolish man stood and said even if God will open the windows of heaven he said blessed is she that believes for unto her there shall be a performance <gasps> South Africa I love you with all my heart and God loves you and it is his desire that in this season in the midst of what is happening around the nations he wants to isolate your nation and make a spectacle of wonder out of it a spectacle of wonder proof that God is alive proof of the excellency of knowing the Holy Spirit I speak over your finances I invoke upon you the mystery of divine supplies the raven that brought food for Elijah and fed him at Bucherit I pray experience prepared blessings experience prepared blessings in the name of Jesus hear me whatever you have lost 
some of you have lost money some of you have lost relationships some of you have lost influence I pray like the hair of Samson here at Excel 2020 receive restoration now son of man can these bones live again and he said only thou knowest then he said prophesy I stand by the God of heaven and I command everything that has left your life that should not have gone return back now opportunities return back now favor return back now the final prayer point tonight hear me listen he said my son give me your heart my son not give me your money not your titan offering listen what makes us different from those who are prosperous in the world is our passion and our allegiance that it will never change that even though i rise financially i continue to love him that my prosperity will not make me a fool listen to me what we are advocating is not just resources that come and produce some carnal people who are irresponsible and no 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 this is not what we are advocating please do not confuse what we are teaching here we are people who are disciplined and responsible with a kingdom sense and 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 a vision for national transformation we are not some careless people just doing some religious jamboree our relevance spans beyond the church walls Are we together so it is important that I say this because what is on you now will work but let it not be that when you have built houses apostle and you have done everything you say my power and the might of my hand has given me this but thou shall remember that means you can forget thou shall remember I continue to tell the Lord every level of influence and grace you grant me that will not let the nation see you in my life don't take me there it is a sincere prayer please hear this the blessing of the Lord does not sponsor carelessness and childishness no we are disciplined people and if you are not adopt that philosophy let your life be disciplined enough to enter the palace of kings are we together don't allow money and prosperity and blessings just make us careless and sometimes we find ourselves doing a lot of things that justifies the accusations that are levied upon the body we are we are we are not people who are we are not a nuisance to society the concepts that we teach are not just some spiritual things for christians they are concepts that are universal in application because the same lord is rich unto all so we communicate concepts that can be adoptable by both believers and unbelievers to the end that all of us lift and glorify the name of the Lord. I'm saying this so that we do not mistake in all of these prophecies as an advocacy to promote lust. No. Your heart. This is how I end tonight. It is true that we have received something that is of substance and it is true that it will speak in our lives. But remember that God must be Alpha Omega. Not Alpha alone. Don't start with him and throw him somewhere to enjoy the fame. He must be Lord all the way. The Lord of your wealth. The Lord of your influence. The Lord of your excellence. That when men look at you and say, by what mystery do you command this result? You are not ashamed to point them like an usher and say, there is one greater than me. When the spotlight is on you and it looks so enjoyable to not let them see him, remember that in the midst of the lampstand, the attention should be one who was the son of man. The lampstands only attract you, but the object will point the nations to his majesty. Father, we bless you for tonight. May the name of the Lord be glorified. I did tell us to come with requests. Did you come with it? 
okay please pastor can you lend me two minutes i mean man of god please come please let me plead with you all of you just bring it quickly let's pray on it we have to honor this we're people of integrity i apologize our time is gone it is not my intention to keep us longer than necessary but please very quickly um, you don't have to do this by yourself. Just, just pass it to someone and we're going to pray. Pass it to an, everybody just pass it to the last person on your role. Please write what must live your life now and bring it here. We want to pray. Pass it to someone. Pass it to someone. Okay, this is, his, what's his? Oh, okay. Those with the seed, maybe, maybe you can pass an offering basket. Would that be fine? Or you can just bring everything together. I'll pray on it here. Please, your requests. Just bring them quickly. Want to pray on it? I apologize sincerely. I apologize sincerely. But we have to do this. And very quickly, you can write something down by faith. This is not some ritual. No. Everything we do, we do with understanding. The Bible says, unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Exodus 14, 14. It says that the Egyptians you see today, you will see no more forever. Please quickly, let's, let's do this in one minute. You don't have to come with it yourself. You can just pass it to someone who can help you. Maybe that will be faster. While you're doing that, can we just pray in the spirit very quickly? Um, okay, I want to pray on them. Will I have the chance to? Okay, the request, yes. Just, just drop them on the altar very quickly. We want to pray. I have seen the wonder working power of God from this mystery. Many of you will return with testimonies that will amaze you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And for those of you who are following online, I know that you may not be able to write and send, but you can just type it if you want on any of the social media platforms connecting. And as we pray, the power of God will also reach you. Please clear the way for the, those coming. Let's make it very fast. Please clear the way. Protocol, please help us so that we'll make it fast. I'm seeing a woman who has been trusting God for the foot of the womb. This is, I don't know who that is. You're wearing black. Trusting God for the foot of the womb. It's time. No, you're also stand. Okay, no problem. You're here. We have to pray. Hmm. You believe in Jesus? You believe you will return back with your children? Do you believe that? I don't care what the medical report is. How shall these things be seen that I know not a man? God just wants to give this miracle. My dear, look at me. Please stand. Is your husband here? We don't have the time. Don't worry. It's okay. I want just, just you. I, I, I'll pray for the rest, but just this lady. Where is her husband? Husband, where are you? Is he here? How are you, sir? God bless you. Do you believe that God will turn your story around? Hold your hands, both of you. Jesus the power of God never never ceases to marvel me that grace is coming on both of you now I'm seeing that gate opening I release that grace go and return with your children right now it's over I pray for all of you we're just we're just trying to buy time while you're dropping the request but I stand in the name of Jesus and I pray for all of you trusting God for the foot of the womb something is leaving you now I'm seeing a spirit that is responsible for this delay go now out now in the name of Jesus wherefore God had so highly exalted him the Bible says and given him a name my dear look at me be free now I'm seeing something being loosed from your stomach be loosed in the name of Jesus for you my dear let it be let it be, be free now in the name of Jesus every one of you I stretch my hands towards you and I pray by the Spirit of God be free now the anointing of the Holy Spirit comes upon you and I speak to you in the name of Jesus like Eli spoke to Anna 
according to the time of life return with your children in the name of Jesus my dear look at me look at me I pray that you will not have to go through surgery in the name of Jesus by the mercy of God let it go now in the name of Jesus never to return to you I bless you all in the name of Jesus go back and return with your testimonies in Jesus name I pray now very quickly please stretch your hands towards the altar we want to pray over this request I'm standing in faith with the apostle over this house and I just want to believe with you father in the name of Jesus Christ I bow to you the God of all flesh I lay my hands upon these requests in the name of Jesus I lay my hands upon these requests in the name of Jesus as I'm praying some of you instantly you are going to be receiving answers I lay my hands upon these requests hmm, something is happening in this place I lay my hands upon these requests joining faith with the angel over this house I lay my hands upon these requests in the name of Jesus even the son of the living God I declare to you by the Spirit of God that these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever these Egyptians you see today by the power of the Holy Ghost you will see them no more forever hallelujah somebody celebrate Jesus give Jesus praise if you've been mightily blessed in this house give him praise give him praise give him praise give him praise his word his word lift up your hands and just give him thanks give him thanks the bible said this is the confidence we have in you that when we call according to your will you hear at us and if we know that you have heard us then we have what you've asked you for i want you to just as a sign of faith that you have received your blessing I want you to give God thanks. Please earnestly give him thanks. Earnestly give him thanks. Earnestly give him thanks. Earnestly give him thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. You've done so much for me, I cannot tell it all. Somebody say. If I had 10,000 tongues, it still won't be enough. Somebody say, Chukuna Guamariale. When you heal, you heal completely. What shall I render?
physically it has happened tonight in your mind church I just want you to keep what you have received one of the greatest challenges of believers is to keep what they have received very few people can keep what they receive may the grace to keep what you've received in these past few days May that grace come on you tonight. In the name of Jesus. Church, I want you, please, with a good God bless you, let us celebrate his servant. Why don't you celebrate Apostle Joshua, Selma Nima, man of God. <laughs> ah, boy, I'll tell you something. You know, you, while you were standing here ministering I said to God you love me and my wife really to connect us to someone like you it's a rare privilege I know for you you don't like to be flattered I know who you are I already just sitting all these times I mean we sat together this afternoon for almost two hours I know who you are but you know Paul said that this grace was given to me even though I was the least apostle. Um, we know that this was given to you by God. This can be, I mean, we, we were talking and we said to ourselves, look, we all read Bible. Man of God, I, I got born again at, at 23. I mean, I've read Bible for 20, 20, 25 or 26 years now. I've read it, but the mysteries that God has committed to you is not by just reading Bible. It has to be a grace. And we all appreciate God for that grace on your life. You know, while you were preaching, I said to myself, I'm going to, my, my intercessors are here, they're all sitting in front. And their leader is here. I want you every day as you gather for prayer, you must mention Apostle Joshua in your prayers. Put that down. Don't forget. Any day you people gather to pray, you must mention his name fully. Lord, we pray for him. This kind of person, you don't find them in every generation. This kind of people come once in a long while. And it's not because he prayed too much, he did this too much. God just decided, I want to put this grace on a man so that this generation can be blessed. Amen. Remember, the Bible says that concerning Jacob, 
that he sent a word into Jacob. It wasn't for Jacob, so that Israel would arise. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.